Welcome to this video. I'm playing Veganito, Veganito from Spain. Yeah, there's some guy constantly asking why I'm losing so often against uh, Spanish players. <laughs> I think I'm not quite sure that I lose so often against them, but it is one uh, simple fact that there are simply very, very, uh, yeah, there are many Spanish players huh, here. Spain seems to be, um, yeah, Spain has many, uh, many players, yeah, simply. So you, um, you bound to, uh, to lose <laughs> against them if you play many games. I'm not quite sure if I really have a totally bad score against them. Um, yeah, and uh, I very much enjoyed playing this tournament uh, on Mallorca, in, uh, in, which is uh, Spain after all. Very, um, very nice to be there. Um, I didn't play, I, I played a couple of Spanish players there and uh, there I didn't lose a game. <laughs> Only lost against the Ukrainian player. Okay, so I've got a pretty good King's Indian here, mm, pro probably f5, yes. The knight on d6, of course, is a, is a fantastic piece. It just um, attacks b5, attacks e4, blocks d5, fantastic piece. I'm trying to activate the bishop as well. 2e3 would be great. e3 to d4. Uh, you're still allowed to dream <laughs> what your pieces can do. Uh, okay, you can relatively easily... Maybe you cannot so easily cover it. How does he cover it? Hmm. I thought at first like queen c3, but I can take e4. Yeah, yeah, now I can give the check, check. and I will. And um, yeah, interesting. I can take, I can play f4. Yeah, f4 is, is tempting, yeah, because queen h4, g5, rook f6, it, it sets up an attack really quickly. Uh, probably, probably is, is, this is fine. Yeah, he can play knight c2. Hmm, I wonder if I should. Yeah, I, I do that. Come on, let's not think about it too long. Allowing a retreat to c5, so that um, so that I actually keep the bishop on this uh, great diagonal. On knight c2, I can go to c5, and there it will stay. It cannot easily be driven away. Knight b4, d3, but then I go to d4. I just want to keep the bishop and get in this attacking idea with, with g5, g5, rook f6. Of course, threatening the very, <laughs> yeah, the very um, crude queen h2 checkmate once the rook is on f6. Yeah, but it will get dangerous. I mean, I have two rooks that can join this attack. Very tricky to play this position. The bishop on d3 is simply not defending at all, and the bishop, uh, the knight on c2, is just, um, yeah, just a spectator as well. He might play queen e1. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Oh, well, then I, I can move the queen away, but... Hmm. Yeah, not so clear how to... how to play this. Do I need h5 and g4? Yeah, maybe I do. If I go g4 here, hmm. oh, I can take with the f-pawn. There is no, no big threat there. I, I actually, I need the rook on h4. It's, it's more important than the queen being there. Rook h4, queen h6, hmm, really? 
going to what is where is he going to c6 yeah maybe but i can always play just rook e8 if i really really feel the need to cover it other than that the knight on c6 is not doing much maybe this isn't so great really it looks fantastic with this bishop on c5 but it's not clear how how i'm really winning this this thing how i'm breaking through yeah, i need rooks this is uh, <laughs> This much is clear. Uh, maybe he can play knight c6 and uh, yeah, yeah, and queen to c3. This this type of stuff. Maybe. Queen c3. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing against this. I can go queen d7, threatening rook h3, but hmm, it's um. It's just king h2 yeah, then. Uh, uh, I, I am missing a, an important resource, resource all the time. With g4, f takes knight e4. This I should have done some, some time ago already. Uh, wow. Mm, should I still do it? Yeah, come on. And this I should have done a long time ago, when knight g3 was still a big fork. Um, yeah, and here I thought knight g5 actually, but e5 hangs. Mm. Well, I can go to g3, but this does not really not really help much I can probably just take on e5 and it's not clear what all this is uh, is leading to time warning okay I really don't see see something else Or anything else would be correct yeah this is just not good yeah yeah I should have played g4 far far earlier far earlier then uh, then it would have been uh, very dangerous for him I'm pretty sure I'm hoping for the capture so that I can take with check getting all my pieces active and I'm threatening uh, not really rook eight rook h3 I'm threatening rook h3 actually and knight f3 uh, it's taking a long time check maybe here I mean this is simply not good threatening knight e4 yeah, I have I have some activity. It's not uh, it's not not completely easy to play for a while. Uh, now I'm okay again, but it's a very very shaky business. Um, how do I play that? I want want to keep the pawn. Trying to put the bishop here and then. Only then take and uh, he covered this. I can go to d3 back, but then I have g5. Hmm. Okay. Uh, not want to want the fork. Knight f6. Uh, yeah. Okay. Knight forfeits on time. Only on time here. This wasn't really great. I mean, it was okay this position really, but I missed a very important resource. Here I have, I think, of compensation, but. 
but probably not more than that. It looks um, it looks very dangerous, but what, what I completely was, was ignoring. Um, no, not at the moment. Um, what I was completely ignoring, I mean, besides many things that were possible before here, this this G four. I mean, but I couldn't play it before, right? Really, uh, not really. There was there wasn't a possible uh, wasn't a spot where I could have done that. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe here I have something. Else. I can go to G three, of course, but. It didn't feel right to me to trade this off, just in terms of practical chances. Maybe it's still better. I didn't want to do that. Check this this type of position as white is very very nicely coordinated, and the knight is a source for counterplay. Objectively speaking, I'm probably much worse. Yeah, the computer gives white white a flat out win. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's just not good. It's just not good. Here I'm threatening rook h3. Yeah, this is a um, slight hope, but he can Check. just play how he did. But here he must go to uh, to um, to g1. Ah, uh, here I could have taken already. I didn't see that. Hmm. Good. This is strong. Check. Uh, this is strong. Check. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, what 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 does this mean exactly? I mean, here. Check. This means that this is a bad idea. Yeah, of course I can take. Maybe this is just better. Yeah, opening it up directly. Yeah, this is a direct win according to the comp. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's simply better, right? Because his uh, coordination is uh, is also not really great. If we look at this, check. And then here I'm, I'm attacking here, and I still have those attacking chances. Yeah, he cannot play this yeah, because of c4, and this is totally, totally winning. Yeah, this was much better. It looked so. Uh, it looked so attractive to 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 uh, to get the king on h1, uh, dreaming of this sacrifices on h2, but probably it's not uh, not right. Mm, and here I have bishop d4 actually, so knight c2, bishop b2. Yeah, I'm a tough tough. Can do many things in this position. Okay, thanks for watching.